One thing I've been asked quite a bit about is how do I determine which way to set my shelter up once I'm in a good area, I found a nice place that I can set my camp up, how do I actually determine which way I want my shelter to face? And I base this entirely off of one factor and that is wind. Wind can be a very big influence to how good of an experience you're going to have. What should be a great camp ends up being absolutely miserable because the wind is driving precipitation into your shelter, it's blowing smoke into your shelter, or the wind is just cooling you down when you're trying to sleep. I'm speaking on this from experience. Back when I was first beginning to tarp camp and camp in open shelters, I was inexperienced and didn't know any better, so I was setting shelters up according to what I thought would be best, and uh, I was very wrong. Ended up getting wind blowing into my shelter, getting smoked out, getting precipitation coming in, getting wet, and it really, really dampens the mood. It makes the experience very unenjoyable. So I'm going to go over how the wind behaves based on your shelter setup, what you want to try to avoid, and hopefully I can perhaps spare you some miserable experiences. Now wind is never 100% consistent. It's going to swirl around, but for the most part you should be able to tell which way the wind is predominantly blowing, and that's what I look for first when I'm in an area and I know I'm going to be camping, I start paying attention to which way the wind is blowing so that I can get an idea as to which way I want to set my shelter up. Now obviously you don't want to set your shelter up so that the opening is facing oncoming winds. That wind is going to blow into your shelter, it's going to cool you down throughout the night, making your sleep less enjoyable. If it's raining hard, it can drive that precipitation into your shelter, causing you and your gear to get wet. And if you have a fire out front, that smoke's going to get blown into your shelter causing you to get smoked out. It's going to irritate your lungs, your eyes, and be a very miserable experience. Now I know a lot of people will think you want to set your shelter up so that the back of your shelter is facing the oncoming winds. That way the wind's going to come over your shelter and blow away. Any smoke that's from your fire is going to blow away with it. When wind comes up over your shelter, it has a high pressure. Inside of your shelter is a low pressure. So when that high pressure wind comes up over your shelter, it actually wants to travel down into that low pressure area. What happens is that wind comes over your tarp and it swirls around. If you don't have a fire in front of your shelter, this is gonna be perfectly fine. If you do have a fire out front, that smoke's just gonna swirl around. You're gonna get smoked out. We don't want wind blowing directly into our shelter. We don't want wind blowing directly on the back of our shelter. So what do we want? In my experience, the best case scenario is to have the wind blowing parallel with your ridge line or with the opening of your shelter. If I have a fire out front of my shelter, that smoke's going to get carried away. It's not going to be drawn into my shelter at all. I'm not going to get smoked out. Rain and snow are going to fall at an angle on top of my tarp. And if I'm tucked down at the back there, it's going to be very unlikely that I'm going to be getting wet at all. This may just be the area that I'm in, but I find during the day when everything's warming up, the wind will blow one way. Then at night, when things begin to cool off, the wind will come back, it'll do a 180, come back the way that it came from. So in that case, for me, it definitely is beneficial to have it running parallel with my ridge line, because in that case, regardless of which way it's blowing, it's gonna be blowing parallel, blowing that smoke away, leaving me to be comfortable inside my shelter. I have heard some people have success with slightly angling their shelter away from the wind, so that the wind isn't entirely blowing directly on the back of their shelter, but more so at an angle. But for me that doesn't work too well because at night when that wind shifts and turns around, then it's blowing directly into my shelter. For me, I've had the best experiences setting my shelters up so that the wind is running parallel to the opening. This shelter setup that I have right now is definitely a summer setup. You can see how open it is in there. And obviously if the wind is blowing parallel with my ridge line, that means that it's going to be coming right through my shelter as well. If I was winter camping, I would opt for something that is a little bit lower profile, more closed off so that I have extra protection from the wind. But for summer camping, really not too worried about the wind making me cold at night. My wool blankets are going to do a perfectly good job keeping me warm regardless, so I don't have to worry too much about that. It's mostly just keeping me dry and keeping the smoke out of my shelter. So hopefully this clarifies my thought process behind how I set up a shelter it's always based off of the wind, and I'm always looking to keep that wind running parallel with my ridge line. Doing so is always giving me good results and keeping me dry from precipitation, 
and from keeping smoke from blowing in here and smoking me out. So I appreciate you watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, God bless and happy trails.